Right then, good morning, evening, afternoon, hello, wherever you are and whatever screen you happen to be moving things around on. I've got two monitors, one's over here, I was moving stuff around, if I'm not distracted. Let's get moving on, shall we? My name is Paul, I do the daily teasers, you'll probably have seen those, hopefully have seen those going past every morning, but I also talk about films I've seen, and I talk about TV shows I've watched. Just recently, over the past few weeks, I've been watching Penny Dreadful City of Angels, and I've got to say, it's keeping me impressed and keeping me up very late at night doing video reviews. This one are my thoughts about the most recent episode, episode 8, Hide and Seek. Here's a quick summary. Episode 8, Hide and Seek, opens with the by now traditional summary of last week's episode, and then moves on showing us Dr. Croft's youngest son, Trevor, played by Hudson West, burying his pet hamster, telling only Maria, Adriana Barati, that it's been killed by Elsa's son, Frank, played by Santino Bernard. Maria gives Trevor a coyote symbol, advising him that the fetish will help protect him. Meanwhile, detectives Tiago Vega and Louis Michener, Daniel Zavato and Nathan Lane agree to split up and follow separate leads in a potential corruption case. Tiago is to investigate Sister Molly's mother, Miss Adelaide, Amy Madigan. Adelaide is very aware of Tiago's relationship with her daughter Molly, Kerry Mache, and shocks Tiago by showing him his sister Josefina's baptism into the church. Into the church. Uh, Josefina being played by Jessica Garza, Garza, if I've got that right. M M meanwhile, whilst Detective Mitchell is heading for Councilman Townsend's office, um, he has to wait as the meeting starts late, because Councillor Townsend, Michael Gladys, is having an ugly confrontation with Councillor Beck, who hints heavily that she knows a thing or two about his sex life, Something that frightens Townsend enough that on a date he asks Kurt to kill Beck. Mitchner is waiting in the office, and after a, a meeting with the councillor, he comes away very unsatisfied. But after having an interesting conversation with Alex, Natalie Dormer, the councillor's aide. On other fronts, Maria has learned of her daughter's wish to join the temple only to find Elsa, again Natalie Norma, telling her not to talk to Mexicans on the street, whoever they are. At the meal Elsa and Dr. Croft, Rory Kinnear attend, that meal sees the Doctor butting heads with Herman Ackerman, Star Trek Discovery's Ethan Peck, over exactly what makes a good German. Something that causes a long discussion between Elsa and Dr. Croft on the way home, and sees the good Doctor, angry enough to tell her why exactly why he changed the family name from where it was, Krupp, to what it now is, Kraft. Now, you've possibly worked out I'm enjoying this series, haven't you? <laughs> Especially if you've read or watched my earlier reviews. Right now, I, my imagination's working overtime, and I can hear you saying, I can hear you saying, Paul, I hear you say, this episode 8 is hide and seek another bloody good episode of Penny Dreadful City of Angels. <coughs> yes, it is, thanking you. For a start, the ensemble cast in general is absolutely wonderful. They really are generally all round good stuff. Um, Lane is fantastic, as he always is in this series. Zavato, the hero of the piece, and Piché. They're a fantastic ensemble cast, a cast that's not afraid of doing what the script asks of them, and giving it a very good spin in the process. So tonight we've seen scene after scene after very well playing scene walking past. Oh, and a very good minor appearances as well. Uh, Piper Parabo as Linda Craft, who's uh, Dr. Craft's now getting divorced wife, uh, uh, did well. Uh, there's also uh, a very good little minor appearance from uh, Patty Lupone, who was the cut wife in the original series of um, Penny Dreadful. 
very good performer, uh, very good singer, I should add. And if anybody on this earth is do you, do you, or should play Granny Weatherwax, it's Patty LePun. So it's nice to see her again. The real star of this week's show, I think, um, is quite frankly, is Natalie Dormer. British actors and actresses have a fairly good reputation internationally, especially in Hollywood, I've noticed over the years, usually because they've got a slightly better work ethic, I'm told, uh, than most American actors and actresses. Saying that, she's working hard to keep up with a really good ensemble cast. She's working with Nathan Lane for crying out loud, and that's a job and a half. But her hard work is starting to show off. This episode was really, it sees Alex doing her thing and muddying the waters. But it also sees Dorma as Elsa. It sees Elsa's nasty side coming out. Her Nazi sympathies are showing she's provoking Maria still further uh, through her devil's son, Frank, who is a separate actor, but the characters are supposed to be the same. Um, She's also trying to force Maria out of the Kraft household, both with her behaviour and with hallucinations of Maria's long-dead husband. I will give Anna, uh, Adriana Barate a big shout-out here. Again, she's another veteran actor that's doing a very good job here, and you can see it in every scene she's in, especially in this latter half here. It's something else to watch. Frankly... This is an episode tonight where it's slowly advancing the story forward. We're getting it ticking forward. We're getting Elsa doing her dirty deeds as much as anything tonight. That's why we're watching it. We're seeing her turn on a screw. This is another fantastic episode. Before I need to, before you ask me to say it again, or I'll say it again, this is a good episode. It's adding the horror, something I've not seen for the past couple of episodes, but it is adding the penny dreadful horrors, ratcheting it up slowly. It's another well acted, well written, well scored, and beautifully done episode in Penny Dreadful City of Angels. Frankly, I'm going to be back next week. I hope you'll join me in another episode. I'll see you then when I post next week's review. Take care, have fun, and. Uh, Go and enjoy the teasers. Take care now.